Hi there, I'm Olaf Bozowski. Welcome to this Mac Pro video course about native instruments, Tractor Pro. It's of course DJ software. And the funny thing is not every old school DJ coming from maybe the 90s or even earlier uh, can appreciate the digital DJing, but I think it's, it's really the future of DJing. And hopefully I'll be able to get that across over the next two hours or so. It's actually got a lot more creative possibilities to offer than using CDs or vinyl. And if it's the beat matching side of things you're worried about, fear not. You can use Tractor without any auto syncing imaginable. Just simply use the pitch controls or even use CDs with it. Here's my A deck. The orange button here indicates that it's the active deck now. And then here is deck B that becomes active as soon as I click it, right? So these are my left and right decks, the A and B decks. And in the middle is the mixer, you know, just like in a DJ booth, you got your left deck, you got your right deck and your mixer in the middle. This area underneath that is the browser with the browser tree on the left. And this part here shows your tracks, if there are any, and you maximize and minimize the browser using the spacebar. So you get very small decks, A deck, B deck, and a very large area that acts like your uh, track crate. Your tracks live here. You get to choose and search and find them in this part. Right now, as you can see, I have zero songs in there. So I could play a set of about zero seconds. I'm gonna change that in a minute, but first let me go over the uh, the features of the track decks real fast. I'll close the browser. And let's start off with the one thing that keeps away uh, certain conventional DJs, the syncing. This is the sync button, and if I press that, this track will now sync in tempo to, for instance, the track in deck B, if that would be the master. I cannot activate the master button now because there's no track in the deck and it works the other way around too of course if i make this deck the master everything else syncs to this anyway these are then the tempo bend buttons um, if i click this one here i can temporarily slow the deck down a little and this one speeds up the deck a bit just like you would do on a turntable or a cd player these are not to be confused with the pitch control because that one is right over here. And you use this one to pitch up the entire deck or pitch it down, of course. And the amount at which the pitch works is determined in, is set in the preferences. It's now at the default setting of 8% up and down. That's just like uh, how the old Technics turntables used to work. But you can go up to 100% up and down. So, um, you get a tremendous range of pitch control there. What's handy to know is that double clicking any parameter on the interface will reset that parameter to its default value. So if I double click on the pitch control now, it's reset to zero. Okay, here's the play button. It acts like a play and stop button, but there is no music in the deck now as you can see by the absence of a waveform. And this here is the stripe view that will show us the entire track. So the play button next to that is the Q button. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Here's the Q and play button. And that has indeed a double function. And next to that are the loop controls. Looping is a very cool feature of Tractor. And this allows me to select a loop of 32 beats all the way down to uh, 32nd of a beat and anything in between, of course. If that doesn't work for you, then you can use the manual looping. You can set the in and out points of your loop with these two buttons. And this is the active button to turn on or off your loop. So I have a four beats loop now, a one bar loop. And above that is the key lock button. This allows you to have your tracks stay in their original pitch, even if you uh, use the pitch control. So that's a real quick overview of the features of a deck. We'll go over the move, cue, and grit features uh, a lot more later. 
let's go to the next tutorial.